barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, so I want to just elaborate more on this Ronda Rousey fight. She got her ass, I mean, destroyed. It reminded me of Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, uh, Terry Norris, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, for different reasons. But when you just go in the ring and just get decapitated, like there's no chance of you winning. And it goes to show you how special you have to be mentally to, to sustain greatness. And one would argue Ronda Rousey has yet to become, wasn't great. You know, she was a, um, she was a catastrophic meteor. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm just thinking about how special some of these great athletes are, like the Ricky Hendersons, to stay in a league 20 plus years. Um, Kobe Bryant, 20 plus years. Robert Parrish, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Uh, I know I'm talking about different sports, different disciplines, but Floyd Mayweather, the Andre Wards, uh, the, C the Cesar Chavez seniors, to sustain yourself, you know, mentally, to get up off the canvas. Oh, man, it's just, she is not the one, and she never was the one, and Dana White is doing an extraordinary job at building up these quote-unquote superstars you know once these ufc fighters lose his superstars they never they're never the same well conor mcgregor is is is, is still ascending per se quote unquote but uh i don't feel sorry for ronda rousey you know let's start one she didn't promote this fight she has some she always walks around with some form of arrogance uh and then she says pity me pity me that's bullshit either when you light the fire, it's your responsibility to put the fire out. And uh, she's one of them people that will uh, light the fire and then lie and say someone drove by and it must have been a cigarette or or electrical shortage or someone else did it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm glad it's over. It's officially over. Um, now she can go in the little ballrooms and get her ass beat by someone. Uh, Amanda Nunez, congratulations. Through all of this, Amanda Nunez won't get the credit she deserves because of how big of a uh, celebrity Ronda Rousey was and probably still is, but she don't deserve to win. Amanda Nunez only got $100,000 for this fight. Meanwhile, Ronda Rousey got $3 million for this fight. Um, but it's just, uh, it's entertaining. It's enjoyable to watch people like Ronda Rousey get destroyed. Oh, I, I enjoyed every bit of that. When I say I enjoyed every bit of that, I enjoyed every bit of that. I mean, she still can't box, still has no stand-up game. Um, she tried to, to sustain it, but when you don't know anything about boxing, per se, um, it's going to come back and bite you in the foot. And that goes to show you she should have she should have took Floyd Mayweather up on on uh, on his help. So uh, what a night. What a fucking night. I am ecstatic that she lost. Now I can go in and watch Ohio State and Alabama win tomorrow. Not that I'm rooting for them. I just expect them to win. If I'm betting money, I don't take the points. I just I parlay them to a, uh, to a money line bet and see where it takes me. So, uh, um, and just so you guys know, I told you guys, Rhonda, Floyd Mayweather said it best, and this is one of the brightest things Floyd Mayweather has ever said. He says, when you've lost, you always can resort back to that corner of losing. And when Ronda Rousey was getting hit, she didn't know how to stymie. She didn't know how to stop Amanda Nunez's momentum. And you say, Floyd Mayweather, well, he got, let's, let's work backwards. He got rocked by uh, Maidana with a few seconds left in the fight if he, he came back and won the fight. Shane Mosley quite possibly could have took everything from him. Came back, won the fight. Oscar De La Hoya was winning the first six rounds of that fight. He came back and dominated Oscar De La Hoya. And most recently, Andre Ward 
was down on the cards, probably the first three or four rounds. Knocked down in the second round. Comes back and lunges to the finish line before Sergey Kovalev. So, uh, you know, Chavez Sr., last three, like it or love it or hate it. Last 10 seconds of the fight against Meldrick Taylor. Comes back and knocks out Meldrick Taylor. You know, the list goes on and on. Sugar Ray Leonard, 15th round, you know. The list goes, you can go on and on about uh, having that championship medal, having that championship fortitude. And uh, it's uh, it's refreshing because I wasn't a Ronda Rousey fan at all, and she deserves every bit of that loss. And the lack of respect by media, the lack of respect by fans because uh, she didn't do her part. So uh, now she's going to go on Ellen DeGeneres and cry again and say she thought about suicide and she can't eat an apple and uh, the world is against her and she will never, ever be accountable. And she has a few mil- she has a few million reasons to feel that way. And um, so congratulations to Amanda Nunez. I know this is majority about Ronda Rousey, but Amanda Nunez had to prepare for this fight just as well as Ronda Rousey had to. And... Uh, it's over. So who's the next superstar? Dana White. <laughs> Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'm interested to uh, continue this conversation. I may even do another video. I have a topic in mind and uh, we'll go from there. So Barbershop Conversations, if this is your last video of the year from me, Happy New Year. We made it. We did it. And um, I want you guys to be safe. I want to, for real, for real, all my subscribers and all my non-subscribers who are just listening to this. I want to see you guys January 1st, January 2nd, and uh, uh, be safe out there. It's raining in Cali. If you're in Cali, be careful. There's a lot of alcohol flowing tonight. And uh, uh, Ronda Rousey's career is officially over. And uh, peace out. I'm waiting on the press conference right now, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Hey guys, it's your girl Angie. You're watching Barbershop Conversations. Make sure to click the button below to subscribe, like the video, don't like it, leave a comment. Um, you can also follow me at um, Angelica Curtis on Instagram. See you soon.